This time, Psych, in this video, we are looking at anaerobic respiration, which follows on from our last video of aerobic respiration. So after vigorous exercise, your muscles become short of oxygen. So therefore, you have to go through exercise which does not require oxygen, and this is anaerobic respiration in contrast to aerobic respiration which does require oxygen. Now in anaerobic respiration, the glucose is not broken down completely and lactic acid is produced as well as little amounts of energy. Now if you are fit, it will take longer to convert to anaerobic respiration as you will be able to keep a longer supply of oxygen going to the muscles. So the equation for anaerobic respiration is glucose goes to lactic acid plus energy. Now a lot less energy is produced in anaerobic respiration because the glucose molecules are not broken down completely. So after resorting to anaerobic respiration, you'll have something called an oxygen debt. So this means that your body will have to repay the oxygen that didn't get to your muscles during the exercise. So this means that you'll breathe heavily after exercise in order to get more oxygen into the blood. Blood also flows through the muscles to remove the lactic acid by oxidizing it and converting it to carbon dioxide and water. Now when high levels of carbon dioxide and lactic acid are detected by the brain, the pulse and breathing rates stay high to rectify the situation. Now anaerobic respiration can also happen in other organisms. So human and other animals are not the only living organisms that can respire anaerobically. Now this is because plants and microorganisms can also respire without oxygen. However, when they respire anaerobically, they don't form lactic acid and instead they form ethanol and carbon dioxide. Now this ethanol can be used in the manufacture of things such as bread and alcoholic drinks, so it is useful in commercial practice. So thanks for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.